Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Joseph Joseph Milltop Salt and Pepper Mills. So let's just take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is the Joseph Joseph Salt and Pepper Mills and just taking a look at the details that's on the box packaging. And this pair is in the grey design. It's also available in blue as well as green. And taking a look at the back of the box packaging, there are a list of features of the salt and pepper mills. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by pulling out the box tab and lifting up the lid and there is some information on the inner flaps and taking a look directly inside of the box and let's lift out the mills if we can and maybe not just lifting up the flap and removing the mills from its box packaging. I'm just going to pop that base back in there and closing the box back up and just setting the box to the side so setting it on the right hand side of the table as we focus in on the Joseph Joseph Milltop salt and pepper mills so just setting them on the table as they are straight out of the box packaging and now let's go ahead and remove the clear recyclable plastic covers or bags and giving you a much clearer look at the mills and just turning the right one around so that the Joseph Joseph branding is in the orientation of the video. Okay, so let's take a look at the white one first or the off-white one. So giving you a close-up look at the details. So it does have a sunray brushed top as you can see with the Joseph Joseph branding. So that radial brushing effect at the top and there are four dots around the bottom representing the grind level so there is the ability to adjust the level of the grind for fineness and coarseness and so as you can see I rotate the top for the adjustability of the grind and of course to give you some sense of the size of the mill resting it in my palm and gripping it as well so it is approximately 17 centimeters tall and 7 centimeters wide So overall giving you a look at its design having a matte finish
and at the bottom we can see it does have a cap at the underside of its base and it does have a ceramic grinding mechanism and just twisting without any pepper or salt inside of the mill at the moment but let's open up the base by twisting it open and giving you a direct look inside of it and of course the cap or bottom cover for the base and giving you a direct look inside of the mill so right there right into the top of the mill so I'm just going to set the cover back down and giving you a look as best I can and twisting or turning and let's see turning the top grind adjustment so no visible change looking down into the mill or shaker or grinder Okay, so let's put the cap back on the underside of the base so we can see that there are notches on the opposite side or studs that go into the base and screws simply in place. And in terms of material, it does feel like the body has a hard plastic design and the top has that radial brushed finish in stainless steel and of course the bottom once again that plastic cap okay now let's take a look at the darker colored one in gray so I'm just going to set the off-white one to the left and taking a look at this grey one from the pair of Joseph Joseph Milltop salt and pepper mills. So once again we can see that consistent design with a cylindrical upper body widening towards the bottom and once again it does have a seven centimeter width or diameter and a 17 centimeter height so giving you a look once again but this time around with the darker of the two mills this one is in a grey and once again with that matte finish and just turning that grind adjustment top so going counterclockwise for a coarser grind and clockwise for a finer grind and let's open up the base or bottom cover and taking a look inside and once again it does have a matte finish on the inner side of the mill and let's put the cap back on simply twisting and there is that noticeable click to secure the closure back in place and once again giving you a look further out 
And of course, let's take a look at the pair together, side by side. And you can see on the body, completely plain and matte. And on the underside, a nice smooth contoured design. And once again, giving you some sense of the size of the mills by holding them. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test them. So let's start off with the white one first, or the off-white one, the paler of the two. And let's open up the closure or cap and fill it with some salt. So over here I have a bag or large packet of Himalayan pink salt. Let's undo the clip. and pour some salt into the mill so right there and that's about enough as you can see giving you a look at the granules of Himalayan pink salt that we've just poured into the Joseph Joseph Milltop salt and pepper mill. So this one, the lighter of the two mills being used for the salt. Let's put the cover back on. So just making sure that we set them into the grooves and locking them closed. And now let's test out the grind. So simply, of course, we can adjust the grind. Let's see where it is now by just grinding. And you can see on the tabletop, perhaps not so clearly, but I'll try and do it in my hand. So simply, hmm, grinding, and you can see just how fine that grind is at the moment, whatever setting that is on. Let's see if we can go even finer. So by turning it clockwise, so right there you can see the fine granules or grains of freshly ground pink Himalayan salt on the tabletop and just giving you a look at just how fine that is and now let's go coarser let's turn it all the way to the coarser setting and you can see the top kind of looks like it's coming off and right there much coarser grind of the Himalayan pink salt. So in comparison to the finer setting. So let's turn it back down to the finer setting and you can see a little bit finer and let's go even more by simply twisting it the top and you can see now a mix of the fine and coarse grain. So let's try and do it on the box so perhaps you can see a little bit clearer. So let's go with a very fine setting. And let's go coarser. 
and see if we can see the difference right there, the finer one on the left, the coarser one on the right. And let's try that again. Let's go even finer by twisting it all the way down and it does tighten and that's as about as fine as it goes as you can see so I'm giving you a look at that level of fineness and let's go coarse and this time you can see quite a noticeable difference with the much larger grains of salt okay so yeah a much better way of showing it rather than the tabletop which is slightly further and of course being brown you can't really see too much or too clearly all right now let's try the gray mill and let's fill it with some peppercorn so opening the base setting it down and over here I have a bag or packet of mixed peppercorns let's open it up and pour some peppercorns into the mill and giving you a look right there the peppercorns inside of the mill and right there simple to close and let's try and test it out by grinding some peppercorns you can see on the tabletop mixed in with the salt from the previous mill and this time around bringing the box back in frame and let's set the grind level to a much finer grind by turning it clockwise the little metal disc at the top and right there is a fine grind of the peppercorns and let's try a coarse grind so turning it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise for a coarser grind and you can see that it does become looser and raises from the body of the mill itself so let's do a coarser grind and you can see just how effortless that mill is with a few simple turns and you can see the peppercorns in a coarser grind now on the box okay so let's try again and we can see that there is no wastage from the mill once when there is no grind but let's let's go fine again and you can see that the disc does lower into the body as we try and get a finer grind okay so let's try it again let's do it side by side with a fine grind on the left and let's go coarse oh and there we go you can see the top does actually come off so let's just keep it
in slightly there and let's see if we can achieve a fine uh, or coarse grind, I beg your pardon, on the right. So there, a fine grind on the left and coarse grind on the right and you can see the bigger pieces on the right compared to the slightly finer pieces of peppercorns on the left. And let's mix it in with some salt as well. So, salt, let's go with a fine grind. And let's see if there's any loose pieces. Nope, so it only releases the pieces of salt or pepper when it's being ground. So, this one on a fine setting. And let's go coarse by loosening or going counterclockwise. And you can see the difference right there between fine and coarse grind of the Himalayan pink salt. So that's the Joseph Joseph Mill Top Salt and Pepper Mills. Thanks for watching and happy grinding!